Previously we did a number of videos on how we can use rubber bands to solve different challenges at the FAO competition. During the recording of these videos the team Brother in Arms came up with a very interesting attachment. We are not sure how exactly this attachment could be used but it has an interesting idea that we would like to share with you. This here is the attachment and again it uses rubber bands right here. The purpose of the attachment is the following. When you rotate the gear wheel right here, for example this here is connected to a motor and now when I rotate the gear wheel only one of the axles of these two axles, only one of the axles actually rotate. As you can see currently only my left axle rotates. Now if I turn the gear wheel in the opposite direct direction only the other gear wheel, uh, only the other axle rotates. Now why is that interesting? Because it uses uh, an interesting part, it's not, this part is not part of the Mindstorm set, it's uh, part from the Technic set, this one here. And uh, there's a friction in this part that's when you are trying to rotate them in one of the direction, it has more friction than in the other direction. And now if I add the part here, we can see that we can rotate both parts, but if we have a rubber band that stops the rotation of one of the gear wheels, we will achieve our result. We just add this here, like this. Now where can you use this? At one of the competitions two or three years ago, I saw a team that was doing a clock with rubber bands. It was a clock mechanism and it was again using similar parts and probably in some of the next videos we will build a clock but it's an interesting attachment and you can use it for solving different missions when you need two axles rotating one at a time in different directions. For more ideas on different LEGO attachment for the first LEGO League competition Create an account and get notified for new videos.